Hey guys, just a quick one before the actual episode starts. Preloading is now available on the PlayStation 5. If you guys don't know what that means, it basically means that the game is already started to download, but you have to wait for the official day for it to actually be able to be playable, but it's now downloadable. So when they push the button for it to go live, that means everybody else can now play. So as you can see, there's still four days left. Anyway, I'll let you guys get back to the normal episode. Hey, how's it going guys? The Census Bros here giving you another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new screenshots that were revealed for the PlayStation 5 at 4K. Uh, so if you don't know, the game is capable of running at 4K 60, but I said in my last video that it could run at 4K 30. Anyway, today's topic is going to be about the brand new screenshots that they have released and oh my god do they look amazing. Starting out first we're going to go with San Andreas simply because well I think that one's the one that most people will play so we'll get those ones out of the way first. So as you can see on screen we have a real nice picture of uh, Los Santos which looks really really good might I add. The next picture we have is of a drive-by with obviously Carl driving Big Smoke Suite and Ryder which looks really good might I add and the last screenshot that was released was with CJ and Ryder with baseball bats and a saber behind them by the looks of it just a quick side note the moon looks really realistic in the background after that we actually have GTA 3 with these screenshots here you can kind of see the level of detail that they've gone for especially with more of the atmospherical kind of uh, vibe that they've got going down for those specific uh, screenshots I mean it does a really good job of capturing what GTA 3 is about it's definitely more about Liberty City especially considering it was the first one to release back when you know 3d games weren't very common back then but the screenshots themselves look absolutely fantastic especially the train with the rain it looks really clean like the way that the the lights light up the floor and the tracks are actually wet I think there's a a real nice appreciation to level of detail within these screenshots themselves. And lastly, GTA Vice City, which as you guys know is one of my favourite GTAs. In these screenshots it just looks amazing, like it looks like what GTA Vice City used to look like in my mind before this version released, like if I sit back and remember it as a kid, these are exactly how I remember Vice being, and the fact that it now looks like that at 4K just absolutely blows me away especially it being on the PlayStation 5 these screenshots look fantastic especially with the first one with the palm trees and the water and you can see the you know the golf course and the whole of downtown on the other side of Vice looks absolutely amazing I cannot believe how amazing that screenshot really looks especially the blimp like the blimp doesn't play much of a part it's not like you could fly it maybe you can as an Easter egg I don't know but the blimp itself, I always remember the blimp being really uh, like grainy looking, but the blimp in this looks, it looks good. It looks really, really good. And here we have Tommy's first safe house over at Ocean View. And this is where you spend majority of your time, especially like looking at the beaches and uh, when you first start the game. That is like the main strip that you are. And the fact that you can now see the neon lights and logos in daytime, like in the PlayStation 2 version, you couldn't really see them apart from at night time, it looked amazing. But in that screenshot there, as the sun is like setting and the lights are starting to come to life, it looks so clean. They've done such a good job with the lighting system in this game. I'm actually so hyped. These four days will go so slowly because these pictures look amazing. Whoever was behind the old lighting for this game did an amazing job on making it look so authentic and very colourful. Like It really pops to me. In my eyes, that pops amazingly. And lastly, we have a picture over at the Malibu Club. So this picture here is pretty good. I'm not going to ruin any story elements for people, but put it this way, this is kind of the climax of the story for people who haven't played Vice City, and it looks really good. Although there are a few factors that have been pointed out to me. <coughs> Danny, when you look at these uh, screenshots themselves, the, how realistic the chair looks in comparison to the people is a bit odd. I'll give a... Uh, I'll give that one out there. It is very, very strange. But the overall ambient lighting on the colours of the lights 
in the Malibu look really good actually the lighting system again I, I think I'm giving it a lot of compliments at the minute and I'm really hoping that when the game comes out it will look as good as I as I'm seeing it in front of my eyes in these pictures it looks good like the, you know the whole thing looks amazing and I'm so hyped to actually see what this is going to play out and look like in in person uh, rather than being in like a controlled environment with a perfect screenshot you know it looking how they want it to look I'm hoping that as soon as it's a you know download and play title it will look like that from the get-go I'm super hyped and those are the screenshots I hope that you guys did enjoy this if you did please give it a like right in and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one peace out my boys peace out Alpha <laughs>